In this video, I'm going to show you how to sort a list in Python. I'm going to create a new list. Let's have a list of famous computer scientists. And those computer scientists are in no particular order. First of all, I'm going to print out the list exactly as it is. And now I'm going to sort the list like this. I'm using the so-called sort method. And then I'm going to print the list again. Let's have a fresh shell window. And I'll run the program. There's my original list. That's from the first print statement. The list is then sorted using the sort method, and there is my sorted list. And you can see that these names are now in alphabetical order. That was incredibly easy to do. Let's add a few more items to the list. Ted Nelson, Ada Lovelace, Tim Peters, I'll talk about him in a moment. Let's have Alan Turing, Charles Babbage, Guido Van Rossum, he's the man who invented Python, Adi Shamir and Grace Hopper. I'm going to sort the list again, but this time I would like to sort the list into reverse alphabetical order. That's easy to do. Reverse equals true. Let's take a look. There's my original list. And there's my new list, sorted into reverse alphabetical order. Notice that Ada comes before Addy, alphabetically speaking. They both start with AD, but Ada then has an A, whereas Addy has an I. A comes before I. Then we have Alan, because L comes after D. If we have two items which start with the same letter, then the sort method will look at the next letter to decide which comes first, and if they are the same, it will look at the next letter, and so on. There's another way to sort a list, which is worth taking a look at now. Instead of saying people.sort, which is going to change the existing list, what I can do instead is this. So this time I am sorting, but I'm putting the sorted version of the list into a new list, which I've called new list. And then I'm printing out the original list, and I'm printing out new list, which contains the sorted version of the list. Let's take a look. So there's my original list. I then sort the list. I'm printing the original list again, just to check that the original list is exactly as it was. You can see it hasn't changed. And then I'm printing out a list called New List, which you can see contains the sorted items. So if you use this technique to sort a list, you keep the original list intact. Now, at this point, you might be wondering, how does Python sort a list? If you're a more advanced programmer, you might have come across various sorting algorithms like the bubble sort or the insertion sort or the merge sort. Some sorting algorithms are particularly good for small lists, whereas others are more efficient with larger lists. Some algorithms work better if the data are almost already in the correct order, whereas others are better if the data is more randomly distributed. So choosing the best sorting algorithm really does depend on the nature of the list that you're trying to sort. Python uses something called the Tim sort. A bit of an odd name, but it was named after its inventor, Tim Peters. And the Tim sort is pretty clever, actually. What it does is looks at the list and decides what's the best way to sort it. If there are no more than 64 items in the list, then the Tim sort will simply do something called an insertion sort. If there are more than 64 items, then the Tim sort will perform a hybrid of the insertion sort and a merge sort. That's pretty advanced stuff. 
and most of us don't really need to concern ourselves with what's going on behind the scenes when we sort a list. Suffice to say that the Python sort method is particularly efficient because it adapts to the type of list it's sorting. In fact, the same technique is used in the programming language JavaScript, and even Google Chrome makes use of the Tim sort. Why not try creating a list of text items yourself and try sorting it into alphabetical order and reverse alphabetical order? Can you figure out how to sort the data into a new list using sorted but in reverse order? You could also try sorting a list of numbers and see what happens if you try to sort a list which is a mixture of numbers and text. 